हॅलो मेडे स्टुडंट्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर पितांबर उमने फाउंडर बॉटनी फॉर यू अँड वर्किंग ॲज प्रोफेसर अँड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी धर्यमपेट एम पी देव मेमोरियल सायन्स कॉलेज नागपूर महाराष्ट्र इंडिया आय वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस ऑनलाईन प्लॅटफॉर्म फॉर द स्टुडंट्स ऑफ लाईफ सायन्सेस बॉटनी फॉर यू फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर न्यू ऑर नॉट एट सबस्क्राईब्ड अवर यूट्यूब चॅनल देन काइंडली लाईक शेअर अँड सबस्क्राईब अवर यूट्यूब चॅनल बॉटनी फॉर यू and also press bell icon for the alerts of every lecture to be uploaded on different life sciences channels if you want to associate with us through the telegram group then the link is given in the description through that you can join the telegram group and can take the advantage of the literature assistance in the form of pdf as well as the career opportunities in life sciences in india and abroad friends in our last class we have completed the five different lectures based on the rtm nagpur university botany semester 1 syllabus and in today's class we will see the second unit of the paper 2 and in this unit that there is a syllabus that is from plant pathology and lichen so as usual we will see first the syllabus of this unit and then we'll continue the 60 mcq type of the questions based on this unit so let's see the syllabus of this unit as we have seen earlier in the first unit there was a fungi in second unit there is a plant pathology and lichens in third unit bryophytes and in fourth unit mushroom cultivation and today in this class we are going to see the different mcq type of the questions based on the plant pathology and lichens in first topic that is the plant pathology there are different diseases or the plant diseases that is the leaf curl of papaya citrus canker and the red rot of sugar cane and in these different topics we have the host then pathogen then symptoms causes and control of the diseases in second topic there is a lichen and in lichens the type of the lichen reproduction in lichen and economic importance of the lichen so let's see the different 60 mcq type of the questions based on these different topics of the unit the question number 1 that is the fungi folato trichum falcatum causes the disease for this we must understand the different diseases the folato trichum falcatum is fungi and the red rot of sugar cane is a fungal disease then citrus canker is caused by the xanthomonas and it is a bacterial disease leaf curl of papaya is caused by the begum virus and it is a viral disease and hence our answer becomes now the red rot of sugar cane then which of the following symptoms are found after the infection by folato trichum falcatum on the sugar cane if you read the different symptoms of the folato trichum falcatum infection on the sugar plant sugar cane plant then we'll find the yellowing and drooping of upper leaves that is near the tip that is the younger leaves then the shriveling of the stem then the rind loses its bright color and become reddish in color then pith of the stem become reddish so all these three symptoms are found on the sugar cane when it is infected by the folato trichum falcatum and hence all the above become the answer for this question then causal organism of citrus canker earlier we have seen that the xanthomonas which is one of the bacteria is responsible to cause the disease and that is the citrus canker and hence a will be the correct answer for this question then the begum virus is responsible to cause the disease that is the leaf curl of papaya which is the viral disease and hence c will be the correct answer for this question then which of the following is symptom of leaf curl of papaya again one of the symptom that is the curling of the leaves so the stunted growth of the plant this is the correct symptom then clearing of the veins this is also the symptom of the leaf curl of papaya and 
द रिडक्शन ऑफ साइज ऑफ द लूज एंड द कर्लिंग ऑफ लूज सो दीज आर दी डिफरेंट सिम्टम्स इन द लिफ कर्ल ऑफ द पपया डिसीज एंड हेन्स डी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन द सिम्टम्स ऑफ सिट्रस कैंकर इज आर नंबर वन दैट इज द लूज अपियर एज ए स्मॉलर इन साइज दिस इज द करेक्ट the development of the round raised yellow brown translucent spots on the leaves this is also the correct symptom of the citrus canker then premature defoliation that is when the leaves are young they fall down so this is also one of the symptoms of the citrus canker and hence all are the correct symptoms and hence the answer becomes b then which of the following is a control measure of citrus canker number 1 spraying 1% bordex mixture this is the correct one then antibiotic spray with the streptomycin or phytomycin and this is also one of the control measure of the citrus canker and hence both a and b become the answer for this question then transmission of begomo virus is carried out by the transmission of the begomo virus is carried out by the white flies and hence a is the correct answer for this question then which of the following is the control measure of red rot of the sugar cane number 1 that is the field sanitization before and after the plantation this is the correct and this is one of the method that is used frequently to control the fungal diseases then collection and burning of the infected plant this is also one of the best method to control the fungal diseases then long rotation of the crops so that there may not be infection on the particular plant by the fungus as the microorganisms are very specific with respect to their host and hence this is also the correct one and hence all the above become the answer for this question then which of the following diseases is bacterial disease number 1 the red rot of sugar cane is a fungal disease citrus canker is a bacterial disease and leaf curl of papaya is a viral disease and hence the bacterial disease that is the citrus canker which is caused by the xanthophora then which of the following disease is viral disease earlier we have seen that the leaf curl of the papaya is caused by the begomo virus and it is a viral disease and hence c will be the correct answer then which of the following disease is fungal disease number 1 that is the red rot of sugar cane which is caused by the colletotrichum falcatum and which is the fungi and hence a will be the correct answer for this question then which of the following diseases is not insect borne number 1 citrus canker then leaf curl of the papaya which is caused by the viruses and these viruses are carried out by the white fly and hence it is a insect borne but the citrus canker is a bacterial disease and it is not carried out by the flies or the insects and hence a will be the correct answer as it is not the insect borne disease then which of the following causal organism can enter the healthy plants through the wounds rubbing leaves scratches and the broken hairs such a type of the entry of the causal organism in the plant is only carried out by the viruses and hence the disease that is the leaf curl of the papaya will be there which is caused by the begomo virus then which of the following are main objectives of the plant pathology why we have to study the plant pathology number 1 that is the pathogenesis second one that is the epidemiology and third one as the etiology so these are the main objectives of the plant pathology and hence d will be the correct answer for this question a flat broad much lobed leaf like thallus of lichen is whenever there will be a leaf like structure it means that it is a polyose lichen and hence the answer become b then in lichens most 
common fungal component belongs to as we know the lichen is a symbiotic association in between the algae and fungi and hence there are the two components that is the algal component and the fungal component so the most common fungal components which are present in the lichen they are either from the ascomycetes or from the members of basidiomycetes and these names are on the basis of the type of the formation of the spores that is the ascospores that is the ascomycetes and the basidiospores that is the basidiomycetes and hence both a and b become the answer for this question in lichens most common algal component belongs to the algal components either belong to the member of chlorophyce or the members of cyanophyce and hence both a and b become the answer for this question maximum number of lichens contain algal components from though there is a presence of the members of cyanophyce and chlorophyce both but if we see the total number of lichens which are present in the nature out of that the maximum number of lichen contain the members of chlorophyce as a algal component and hence the chlorophyce will be the correct answer for this question then which of the following statement is correct if the two components of lichen thallus artificially separated so if such a type of the practice is carried out then the algal component is able to live as an independent individual and not both or not the fungal component and hence number 1 that is the a algal component is able to live as an independent individual will be the correct answer for this question then lichen is the best example of if you see the lichen which is the combination of algae and fungi the algae is responsible to carry out the process of the photosynthesis that is the synthesis of the food material and fungi is responsible for the absorption of the water and the minerals from the ground and hence fungi is taking the food from the algae and the water and minerals are taken by the algae from the fungi such type of the association in between the two organism with their both benefited then such a type is known as the mutualism and hence c will be the correct answer then tomato and tobacco are the alternate host of if you see the viral diseases of the papaya that is the leaf curl leaf curl of papaya which is caused by the begum virus which is also causing the viral diseases on the tobacco as well as the tobacco plant and hence c will be the correct answer for this question then checking the population of white flies is a control measure of the white flies are the vector for the viruses and begum viruses causes the leaf curl of papaya and hence b will be the correct answer for this question then very commonly the lichens grow on if you see the lichens or in a natural condition then they are either grow on the bark of trees again on the bare rocks and again on the soil also and hence in all type of the condition there is a growth of the lichen when the fruiting body is disc like apothecium then the lichen is called as if a such a type disc like structure will be there of the apothecium then such a type of the lichens are known as the gymnocarpi the lichen with the flask shaped perithecium as a fruiting body if such a type of the condition will be there that this is the fruiting body which is the flask like and then that is known as the pyrenocarp then the thalli of lichen which are differentiated into layers of the tissue called as if you see the vs of the thallus then there are the different layers and such a type of the lichen thallus are known as the heteromerous 
type of the lichens then vegetative reproduction in lichens takes place by number 1 sorodium then isidium and cephalopodium so all these three are the different methods of the vegetative reproduction in lichen and hence all the above become the answer for this question then in heteromerous lichen that we have seen earlier that having the different layers in the thallus the upper and the lower cortex are made up of so usually the upper cortex and the lower cortex is made up of the fungi and hence the fungal component only will be the answer for this question then asexual reproduction in lichen takes place by the lichens are responsible for the formation of the oidiospores also as well as the pycnidiospores also and that is the way of asexual reproduction in lichen by the fungal component and hence both a and b become the answer for this question sexual reproduction in lichen carried out by if you see the sexual reproduction by the lichen as it is made up of the algal component and second one is the fungal component the sexual reproduction is carried out by only the fungal component and hence b will be the correct answer for this question then which of the following is economic importance of lichen number 1 as a food and fodder this is the correct one then second one in dyes and tanning industries this is also the correct one which is the function for of the lichen then in cosmetics and perfumery so these are the different economic importance of the lichen so very common example is found in the spices as the chadela that we are finding in routine homes so this is also one of the lichen and hence the answer becomes all the above a small bud like outgrowth develop on the lichen thallus containing few algal cells closely enveloped by the fungal hyphae so if on the thallus such a type of the structures are formed then these are known as the sorodium and hence a become the answer for this question then which of the following is not economic importance of lichen number 1 soil formation as there is growth of the lichens on the rocks they dissolve it by synthesis of the acids so again this is one of the functions of the lichen then synthesis of medicine many medicines are prepared from the lichens and hence again it is also one of the economic importance of the lichen then bio fertilizer the lichens are not used as a bio fertilizer and hence c will be the correct answer as it is a not economic importance of lichens a small papillate outgrowth on surface of lichen and outer cortical layer enclosing the algal and the fungal component is called as such a type of the structures which are formed the papillate outgrowth from the thallus and that is known as the isidium and hence b will be the correct answer for this question a small wart like structure formed on the surface of the thallus is called as the wart like structure is said to be the cephalopodium and hence cephalodium become the answer for this question match the following pairs number 1 xanthomonas xanthomonas is a bacteria begomo virus is a virus coletotrichum is a fungi and cephalopodium is a way of reproduction in the lichen and hence now this becomes bacteria this becomes the virus coletotrichum is a fungi and cephalopodium is a lichen and hence now they are correctly paired then which of the following is a diseases of the sugar cane the sugar cane disease that is the black rot then black stripe and the eye spot so all these are the different diseases of the sugar cane in addition to that of the red rot of sugar cane and hence 
all the above become the answer for this question. Then which of the following diseases caused by bacteria? Earlier we have seen the citrus canker is a bacterial disease, leaf curl of papaya viral disease, then rust of the wheat caused by the fungi and blight potato is also not the bacterial and hence the citrus canker become the answer for this question. In plants, bucking, then puckering and blistering symptoms are produced by. So, this bucking, then puckering and the blistering are the different symptoms of the viral diseases and hence A will be the correct answer for this question. Then which of the following pair is not correct? Number 1, leaf curl of papaya is a viral disease and this is the correct pair. Red rot of sugarcane is a fungal disease, correct one. Citrus canker is a bacterial disease and it is also the correct one. And hence not correct, it means that is the none of the above will be the answer. Then which of the following group of viruses generally attack the plants? If you see the plant viruses, animal viruses and bacteriophages. So the plant viruses are the mostly RNA viruses. And hence they are known as the riboviruses and hence B will be the correct answer for this question. Then which of the following is not a method by which the viral infection spread in plants? Number 1, exuding sap of the infected plants, it contain viruses. Then the infected seeds also contain the viruses. And through meristem, meristem never contain the viruses as there are that are the fast growing cells of the plant's body and then infected plant pollen grains that also contain the viruses and hence not a method by which the viral infection spread in the plant and that becomes now through the meristems and hence for raising the virus free plant there is use of the meristem. Then which of the following is not a common measure of controlling the viral infection? Number one, using healthy virus free seeds, this is correct one. Then protection from insect vector because many insect vectors are responsible to carry the viruses. Then using antibiotics, this is not the measure because the antibiotics are not used against the viral diseases. Then using resistant varieties to the viruses and this is also the correct and hence not common measure and hence C will be the correct answer for this question. Then which of the following statement is true? Number one, the common symptom of the viral infection in the plant are local lesions and the ring spots. So this is a correct one. Then the bacterial spread from the infected plants to healthy plants only by the air current and this is the wrong one. So either A or we can change this option that none of the above. So, here the correct answer becomes A that is the common symptoms of the viral infection in plants are local lesions and the ring spots. Then which of the following is not a method of controlling bacterial diseases in plants? So, the rugging of the infected plants, this is correct one. Sanitization method, this is also the correct one. Then quarantine, that is to isolate the plant or infected plant. So these are the different correct methods which are used generally to control the bacterial diseases. And virus free seed. So virus free seed, it means that it is responsible to for viral diseases and not the bacterial diseases. And hence D will be the answer for this question. Usnic acid. A broad spectrum antibiotic is obtained from. So, this usnic acid is obtained from the usnia and cladonia which are the different species of the lichens and hence both A and B become the answer for this question. Then which of the following lichen is called as reindeer moss that is the food of reindeer. So, the Cladonia rangiferina is the moss 
or the reindeer moss or we can consider that it is the food of the reindeer and it is a lichen and hence b will be the correct answer for this question then which of the following lichen are the pioneers in zero years zero years it means that developing from the rock and on the rock there is a development of the crustose lichens and hence c will be the correct answer for this question a semi parasitic relationship between algal and the fungal components of lichen termed as deliberately in this option i have not given the symbiosis because whenever we are talking about the definition of the lichen then we always use the symbiotic association in between the algae and the fungi but in a real sense it is considered that the many scientists are in a opinion instead of the symbiosis it is known as the helotism because here there is a partnership in between these two in which one of the slave and the algal component is considered as a slave to that of the fungal component such type of the association is known as the helotism then lichen is a pioneer vegetation of so if we see the pioneer vegetation litho it means that the rock and on the rock there is a development of the crustose lichen it means that the lichen is a pioneer vegetation of the lithosphere then the lichen are best indicators of if you see the lichen then they are considered as a ecological indicator because the lichens are very much sensitive to that of the sulfur dioxide concentration and hence it is the component in the air and hence a will be the correct answer that is the air pollution the fungus dash in close association between the alga and fungus with a lichen so if we see this that fixes the atmospheric nitrogen for the algae this is wrong one because the fungus is not responsible for the absorption of the nitrogen from the environment then releases oxygen for the algae algae is also autotrophic and having the same ability it is also the aerobic and hence no necessity of this one then provide the protection encourage and absorption for the algae and that we have seen that the fungal component is responsible for the absorption of the minerals as well as the water from the soil and hence it is one of the important function of the fungus in the lichen then provide the food for the algae this is wrong one algae provide the food to the fungus and hence correct one will be the c a lichen having much branched system of a cylindrical or ribbon like branches but a small thallus is called as such a type of the branched system which is very common in the nature and that is a proticos lichen and hence b will be the correct answer for this question then most of the scientists deem to be algal fungal relationship in lichen as helotism that we have seen in a earlier question this means what earlier we have seen that the algal component is considered as a slave and hence the master slave relationship and here the master will be the fungal component and the algal component is considered as a slave and hence b will be the correct answer for this question then majority of lichens are pollution indicators of earlier we have seen that the so2 that is the sulfur dioxide that the lichens are very sensitive to this gas and hence d will be the correct answer for this question in the studies on atmospheric pollution lichens are important as they dash so number 1 that is can readily multiply in the polluted atmosphere wrong one because they are very slow growing organisms then are very sensitive to pollutants and hence the lichens never grow in the cities because of the pollution then efficiently purify the atmosphere they are not responsible to purify the atmosphere 
and can also be grown in polluted atmosphere this is also not possible with respect to the lichens and hence are very sensitive to the pollutant become the answer for this question then which of the following statement not correct for the lichen not correct lichens are indicators of pollution that we have seen earlier and this is the correct statement they grow rapidly every day this is wrong one only 1 mm growth is possible per day then some species are eaten by reindeer that is the reindeer moss that we have seen in earlier question and this is also the correct one then they have symbiotic relationship between the alga and fungi this is the definition of the lichen and hence it is also the correct one it means that not correct that is the b they grow rapidly every day in lichens sexual reproduction belongs to earlier we have seen that the sexual reproduction is only carried out by the fungal partner and hence a will be the correct answer for this question then lichens are ecologically important as they earlier we have seen that purify air this is wrong one are pioneer of the barren rock that is they are playing an important role in formation of the soil or the xerosia are symbiosis of the algae and the fungi though it is correct one but it is not the ecological are associated with the mycorrhiza this is absolutely wrong one and hence the correct statement with respect to the ecological importance of the lichen that is they are pioneer of the barren rocks and the second answer for the same that they are the indicators of the pollution so friends i am very much hopeful and confident that this lecture will be helpful to you in preparation of your online examinations conducted by the colleges as well as the universities in this covid-19 pandemic thank you very much for watching this lecture completely friends if you like this lecture and if it is useful to you then kindly like share and subscribe our youtube channel botany for you and also press bell icon for the alerts of every lecture to be uploaded on different life sciences titles and don't forget to join our telegram group with the link given in the description so that you can take the advantage of the literature assistance in the form of pdf as well as the career opportunities in life sciences in india and abroad if you have any query or if you want to contact with us then kindly visit our website www.bodnevaryu.com thanks a lot once again